Hi guys, got another one of these foam gliders from Poundland. I've done a bit of work on it already, but the plan is to make this one radio controlled. Uh, I've got some motors from some previous projects. They're little 3.7 3 volt coreless motors. Got a couple of them there. The red and the white props are opposite directions, so we should be able to reduce the torque. I've already pushed a hole through the back there and put a popsicle stick through. So I'll recover these from where they were before. That one's just hot glued in. That one's actually two pack epoxy holding it in place and some wire around it. I'll probably do the same sort of effect on this popsicle stick. So we'll have a pair of them there. The elevator, I've already trimmed the actual elevators off it, off the tail, and used a bit of fiberglass from a kite, fiberglass spar from a kite, to connect the two elevators together. That bit in the middle will be surplus. So I need to make some hinges. I've got some sort of thin plastic stuff here that I'm going to do crossover. Like that. And glue them in place. And see if that works for me. It's very thin foam. Most people when they do this conversion uh, use the um, foam board stuff. But I'll try and use all the original stuff as far as possible just to see if it's possible. I think the tail itself, the rudder, seems a bit small. Again, most people just cut that off and replace it. Uh, I might just try making the rudder itself bigger, but leave the rest of the fin as it is. I've trimmed it a bit, thinned it down a bit, because the original is quite thick. The wings I've done nothing to at the moment. Eventually it would be an idea to thin them down a bit, but I, again, I want to see if I can make it work as close to standard as possible. Oh, and for the receiver, I'm going to use this. That's one of those WL911 helicopter receivers with the two servos already on board. Well, it's beginning to look interesting. Got the engines on the back. Got the elevators in place. Haven't done the rudder yet. That's the receiver in position. I haven't fixed it yet, I've just cut the hole to get the idea of where it will go. The battery will have to go right down the front somewhere to help to balance it all, get the centre of gravity back to the right place. Those black lines there are where the centre of gravity was before I started. I'll just weigh them, see what they come in at. We'll try ounces first. So that's the bare glider. That's saying 1.3 ounces. That's with the tow hook added and those little cardboard flaps. Let's just try that in grams instead. Thirty nine grams, and then with the radio gear and the motors, that one's coming in at sixty six grams, 
or 2.3 ounces so nearly double in weight I have given it a quick try in the garden and these little motors don't have enough power so I think I'll have to have a rethink on this I'm either going to have to hollow it out and lighten it or put bigger motors on it I have put quite a big metal weight in the front there to get the centre of gravity back so that's not helping, that's a fair bit of weight just to balance it up again. I'll just fly it across the garden to demonstrate we haven't quite got enough power. Yeah, that looked like sort of level flight. No evidence there of a climb. It might have climbed a little bit if it had further to go, but I doubt it. So we're either going to have to up the battery, but I don't think that receiver will handle it. Or maybe look at different propellers. A bit pushed for space with the propellers. <laughs> going to end up cutting holes in the side of the bodywork. Or extending these arms out further.